What's up guys, this is MA569 and today I'm going to be spectating <coughs> the Masters of Maze versus Team Harem uh, Minecraft PvP Maze Runner match. These are two official teams and they are going to be playing uh, against each other on the T server, which is the 1v1 server, so to speak. Uh, it's uh, 4v4, I will explain the teams <coughs> once the game begins. There is a pinata party going on, but I don't think they are going to go. Uh, we are still Steve's, but uh, with the new Minecraft PvP mod, as you can see, I have a cape, which is awesome. And my skin shows up, so now I can be the Crimson King again, instead of just a Randy Steve. Alright, now we're just we're going to get ready to go here. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will be commentating, of course. All right, so first things first. Um, I'm not getting any. S oh, there's the princess sound. That's good. All right, so Aqua is Team Harem. I was also put on Aqua for some reason. I don't know, but whatever. So uh, Aqua is Team Harem, and they are at uh, Z123. No, Z89 and X123. Uh, it's a bit too early to tell what their strategy is. Someone likes the princess, though. Someone is friends with the princess. I think that's... Um, what's his face? That's Lazy Wizard. Uh, Krabs is very vocal in chat. Let's see what blue... This is Team Masters of Maze. They are going to be at Z280. Uh, so that means that these guys are the south. So north is going to be that way, so that should be the Griever Hole right around there, yeah? Um, uh, yeah, it's too early to tell any plans. I do know from past experience that uh, Masters of Maze is more of a late game team. Uh, I think this is Team Harem's first match, so I don't know anything about them. <coughs> I, uh, you'll just have to ignore the uh, bit in the top left corner that's saying I'm a tank. So even though I'm a tank, uh, it doesn't really matter. Just gotta fly over here. Oh, I do want the compass here. Um, I'm gonna see if anyone has managed to get something like a furnace. Anyone's holding any stone swords. Um, right now it looks like someone's trying to get some flint. Uh, they might have a string of chickens. That would be a pretty cool thing if they could make a bow. I get some arrows. That would be a good early game strategy. They're kind of just sitting there. Nothing's happening. How about these guys? Uh, wood sword, wood swords, wood swords. No furnace. He is gathering some dirt, so they might be. Uh, so, uh, day one. Uh, I don't know why he's posting that in chat. Although he's spamming all the D's. Um, I thought they had a call, but uh, they are chatting in in the well in chat. Um, all right, these guys are already in the maze. They are going south. They might be heading for early game. Uh, depends if someone's got a compass. Uh, let's check Ben's. Ben does not have anything. Does not have a kit. Amor does uh, not have a tracker. Uh, might be John. Not John. Um, and the last guy is Lazy Wizard. So they do not have a tracker. So if they found the Giro Hole, it would have made my Sherlock. Or. Uh, they can know the, you go north-south for this, and they just pick the correct direction. If they did, good on them. Uh oh, they're not, like, in combat, right? No. Uh, so it looks like they're sticking together. Um, but, uh, so they found the base, the base of Masters of Maze, but Masters of Maze is not in this base. Uh, are they splitting up? They might be. 
Now they don't have a track compass, so they're going to be unable to go to just run to them, which might turn out to be a big drawback. These guys, Master's Maze, are sticking together as well. Blue is. Um, so, uh, what are their faces? Uh, Harem is over there, and Master's Maze is here. So Master's Maze got pretty far away. Blue got pretty far away from Aqua pretty quickly. And now it's just going to be a question of whether these guys can find him or not. Oh, they might. They might have gone the right direction. They might have gone the right direction. Oh, they did, and they're fighting. Uh, early game rush. Um, it looks like Aqua is winning this. Blue backed up. There goes blue guy. One last guy. Oh, he's kind of flanked. I got the kill, but... John BD99 was able to kill the last guy. Uh, that is a uh, sorry about the Facebook. That is a win for um, that is a win for Harem. That is uh, two casualties. No, no, three casualties. John BD99 was the last one, and they were able to flank that guy. That was a good game. Sorry, I missed the first bit of that skirmish. I wasn't expecting the fight to start right away. And welcome back to round two of Masters of Maze versus <coughs> Team Harem. Uh, this time, Team Harem is the blue team and Masters of Maze is the gold team. I am interested to see if anyone will be altering their strategy slightly. In the last game, it was uh, uh, Team Masters of Maze lost. They were found in the maze quite early and uh, Team Harem was able to overpower them. Um, so I'm wondering if Masters of Maze is planning to do anything about that. Now they are on the T server, which means it is qu uh, quite a bit harder to hide from rushing teams. It is doable, but it's harder because the dimension, the scale is simply much smaller. Um, so they planted, they got three of the useless blocks. I'm not seeing any stone swords change hands. Um... Uh, nor am I seeing any green thumbs, users. Oh, excuse me. Um, let's head over to crabs. Uh, they are killing animals. Oh, attacking. Ban. I will. I will ban. They planted their iron. That is a interesting strategy. I'm gonna laugh very hard if they get the uh, iron ore, uh, eight cobble, and they could have made a could have made the furnace and then made the iron sword. All right, let's check the uh, coordinates. Uh, One twenty-six, and uh, um, these guys are at three seventeen. That means they are the south, so they want to go north this time, which is that way the forest and farm. I'm not seeing stone swords change hands in either team. Oh, he's in. Um, so... I'm wondering what'll happen. Uh, they might get stone... Morning. Oh, Krabs has a stone sword. That's, that's a good advantage if they... They are south of their base, so they are going for the offense again. Good on them, Ben Galloway. I believe Amor is the only one who has a kit on their team, though. Although Ben seems pretty good, uh, pretty comfortable leading. Oh, he's got another chest. Um, that's. I got on. So they found one of the straightaways. Actually, they found the straightaway. It's gold, and now they are at gold. Ben rushed. Now he's eating for some reason. Oh, he does have the track compass. Um. That's how they were able, so they're fighting. It's hard to tell with the skins, but uh, there goes one blue player. There goes two more blue players. Um, oh, blue is John is hitting the princess. It might go either way. And blue has won. That is another uh, harem win. That is another harem win by John BD99. And welcome to the final match. Well, the Potentially final match. This is the match round between 
harem and masters of maze it is harem with two wins to masters of maze with zero and it is best of five so if harem wins this one then they are the victors if masters of maze wins then uh, another game if they win again then it will be the final final game this is only the potentially final game and i would nominate john bd99 as uh, uh mvp here for he is been the sole survivor in the last two games, but time will tell. Now let's check Ben again. So he does have a track compass. I don't know why it didn't show up on the first one. He has track compass and vampiric. Um, yeah, so uh, their strategy so far seems to be an early game rush, which has worked for them. I'm... Um, I'm willing to bet they're going to do it again as, you know, why fix what isn't broke? Uh, looks like 16OY has a stone sword, John BD has a stone sword, and I think Ben had a stone sword there. Yep, that's a stone sword, so three stone swords. That's, uh, that's a pretty good, uh, rush start right there. Let's check out what, uh, Masters of Maze is looking like. Krabs has a stone sword, Matt is mining some dirt with a shovel. Uh, so is Bob. Um, Tractation? I'm not sure. Um, I'm really wondering what these guys are planning to do. Because <coughs> uh, if I were them, I would be thinking that Harem is going to rush again as they did the past two games. And if they lose again, you know, they lose the, they lose the match. So they definitely should be having some anti-early game strategy it depends on what they want it looks like this this is at 480 <laughs> they're gonna be the south base um there isn't that mega straight away um at least not on that side although nope no mega straight away so it won't doesn't look like oh that's the that's harsh yep it looks like team harem is going to rush but um, uh, it looks like they're gonna stick together. They're gonna get a little bit of gear. Um, they are wasting time talking. If if they have a call, or they're kind of wasting time talking, and time is not going to be their friend here. Oh, are they? It looks like they might be going on the offense too, or at least they're close to the Griever hole. Oh yes, uh, Masters of Maze is red, and pink is harem. So red, Masters of Maze is kind of going through. I think they're just going to be getting some gear. Um, but Harem is likely to attack sometime soon. Where did they go? They're over here. They're sticking close to the glade. So, uh, you know, might work, might work. Oh, they're back in the glade. Well, they're right next to it. <laughs> he did find red. Good on you. Good on you. Let's check in with Harem. Harem is close to red. Red is over there. I think they are getting some more gear this time. Um, ben, ben has the PvP kit, I believe. Oh, he's got a. Ooh, he's got a sword. I want to see what's on that sword. That sword's got a uh, unbreaking on it, so that's it's not sharpness, but you know stone swords are good. Um, I believe a more is. Oh, can't type. Come on, tab work. So she's got a PVP kit, health sturdy, resistance one. I uh, oh they are moving so okay. Alright, I think I had this. So they're chilling in red now. Ben's gone this way, that means um, Masters of Maze is likely to be over there. But let's check in with them. Um, so they've got some stuff. Let's see what Krabs has. Oh, there goes 16 0. Uh, speed, pointy 2, heavy metal 2. That's a good soul. It's it's not going to be as useful on a team because he doesn't have greedy. All right, so there's here's Harem. Here's Master's Maze. Fight! Or don't. Yeah, fight. 
Alright, so Amor has resistance, so her going first is good. Oh, he missed that. Uh, Moore is right there. Chactation had to go back. He kind of got flanked. Oh no, it looks like John BD is flanking, and here comes 16 OI. Um, and it looks like Harem wins again. The kit called Die. I uh, wonder what's on that kit. That kit has uh, damage one, so the damage is pretty good. Regen one. Uh, a very good game. A very good game between them. Uh, that means Harem has won against Masters of Maze. A flawless 3-0 victory, even though they took quite a few casualties. And uh, John BD was not the sole survivor uh, <laughs> on that last game. 16 OI was there, and he got the nice double kill. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this commentary between Masters of Maze and Harem. Uh, if you did, as always, you know, Leave a like and or subscribe. I really like seeing those. And until next week.